tell Joe he's got till I get back to finish that sidebar on myths about sex symbols. Thank you. Hey, has anybody seen Phyllis? No, all right, I will call him from the car. I have to go. Goodbye, everybody. Hi, Uncle Billy. I have to talk no, to I you. No, I don't have time. Well, Whatever you're going to have to make time because this is huge. It feels like we were just at the doctor's. It's like we should pitch a tent in his waiting room or something. Yeah, sure. Maybe we should stop by the sporting goods store on the way to my appointment. That's fine. Um, before this turns into some kind of camping expedition, do you want to tell me where your head is at? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was just, you know, I was thinking of something else. Yeah, I got that. Care to share? You know, it's it's really nothing. I, I got this job offer, and I'm just not really sure if I'm going to take it or not. Oh. So does your weird mood have anything to do with some girl named Daisy? Why would you ask that? Oh, I just, I overheard you talking to Billy and your brother about her. Who is she? She's a person that is fighting to get her baby back. Baby that she didn't want in the first place. Who is she fighting? The person that took the baby away from Billy and me. Oh. Daisy is Lucy's mom? Wait, hold on a second. You know about Lucy? Um, my mom had found out that you and Billy had a kid taken away from you that you adopted, and at one point we were thinking about using it when it came time to negotiate with Billy and me. That was the plan. Mm-hmm. Well, your mom did her homework. Billy and I adopted Lucy, and then we lost custody of her. And now, Phyllis is feeling the same pain that we felt because Daisy's decided that she wants her baby back. It's being the biological mother trumps any kind of legal documentation in the world. Is that what this is about? You're freaking out because you think I'm gonna change my mind about giving you my baby? Are you? I, I can't do this right now. Chelsea has a doctor's appointment. I just need five minutes. Five. You get two. Okay. When I was out in L.A., I ran into a friend of mine who is a major reality TV producer, and I told him all about my awesome uncle, how he owns Restless Style. 90 and seconds. guess what? 90 seconds. He wants to make a TV show about your magazine. A TV show? Yeah, they would bring their cameras in here and they would film you and your staff, like pitching ideas and, and telling juicy stories about following celebrities and catching them doing stuff they don't want their fans knowing that they're doing. You would be a star. Doesn't that sound awesome? Yeah, that may be too awesome. Who'd want to make a TV show about my magazine? Are you ready for this? Okay, Paul. Doesn't he own, like, 10 reality TV shows? Yeah, yeah. He does real everything, and he wants you to take a meeting with him. Well, you know, it looks legit. Can can I call him? Can we do this over a video chat? Wait, see, Gabe insisted that you have to go to L.A. He wants you to meet with him and his people in person. Uncle Billy, this is, like, the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, you're right, it is. Too bad I'll have to pass. Oh, you're going to pass? Why would you pass? Look, I can't leave Genoa City right now. I won't be able to for a while. Wait, why? Why, because that skank Chelsea's about to pop out your kid? Oh, wow, you have a way with words. Can I hire you anytime I'm soon? I'm just saying that. I mean, didn't Chelsea already agree to give you and Victoria the baby? Yes, she did. But as long as her mother's in town, <laughs> I'm not going to leave Victoria alone. Okay, thank you. I said I want you and Billy to raise this baby, and I meant it. I really hope so. Because, you know, I, I do plan on giving him my love and attention 24-7. Is that why you're thinking about turning down this job offer? So you can be a, a full-time mom? <sighs> uh, that's part of it, I guess. Well, why else would a big-shot executive like yourself not want to go back to work? Well, taking this job puts me in direct conflict with my father again, and I'm kind of done with that. 
So your dad really likes to control things, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's an understatement. Well, at least he cares. I actually never even met my dad. The missionary? Yeah, that was, uh, that was my mom's idea. Truthfully, though, as far as lies go, not really a bad one. When I think about my dad, I like to imagine that he is a really great guy. If he had been and he had been around more, maybe things would have turned out differently for me. Yeah, maybe. That's what I really want for my baby. Two parents that really, really love him. I wonder what's taking Billy so long. We're gonna what? be late. What can I do to make you believe me? Just keep your promise. It's Nick. Hey. Um, I'll get it. What are you doing here? I just came by to see how my little girl's doing. I'm fine. Actually, I'm glad you stopped by. There's something I need to tell you. You're probably gonna find out sooner or later. Might as well be sooner. Find out what? I signed papers legally giving my baby to Billy and Victoria. What? I want them to raise him, Mom. Well, I hope they offered you a bundle for your little bundle. Stop it, okay? I'm not doing this for the money. Are you crazy? Or are you just plain stupid? No, actually, I want my son to have the life that I never had. I'm not gonna let you do this. Mm -mm. It's too late. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Sweetie, you've been under so much pressure. You don't know what you're saying or doing. Handing your baby over to Billy and Victoria I, is just... I am giving my baby a good life. One without you. I did everything I could for you. You are great Get for... out you. of my house. How many times do I have to tell you that? I am having a private conversation with my daughter. You heard him. We are not finished. seem really upset about what your mother was telling you. Yeah, I was. What? You think that was a setup? You think we faked that whole argument to con you? Did you? <sighs> yeah, that was a good one. The oops, I didn't know you were listening routine. How many times did you play that with mom? OK, look, I can't take back the things I've done in my past. All I can say to you is what I was just telling Victoria, and that is that I really want the two of you to bring up this child. I know you both have, you know, stuff with your parents and all, but they obviously did something right. You're both so ready to love this baby and teach him all the things that I never learned about, you know, being a good person. <laughs> you know, it's not too late. Yeah. Um, you know what? I love my gloves. I'm gonna get those before we go to the doctor. Now I know I made the right decision. There's no way I can leave you here alone to deal with those two whack jobs. You thinking of going somewhere? Abby's got a producer friend in LA who wants to discuss making the magazine as some sort of TV show. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Like one of those behind the scene type thingies? Yeah, just like one of those thingies, but I told her there's no way that I could go. What? There's no way you can't go. Come on, where is Chelsea? We're gonna be late. Hey, stop. Stop trying to change the subject. I'm not changing the subject. The drill sergeant who runs Dr. Okamura's office hates it when we're late. I'd like to be on time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, listen to me. I can handle things here while you're in LA for a few days. Might not be a few days, more like a week. 
Okay, so what's gonna happen in one week? Chelsea and her mom. <laughs> the variables are too numerous to count, and <laughs> consequences are too scary to think about. Not pass up this opportunity. I already told Abby to tell everybody Hal that I'm not coming. Well, call Hal and tell him that you are. What's going on here? Are you trying to get rid of me? Hmm? No, I'm not trying to get rid of you. It's just that, well, when Genevieve offered me the job at Beauty of Nature, you told me to take it, and you didn't hesitate for one second. Yes, that's because I know what that job means to you. What about what it'll do to Jack? Is that the reason you haven't taken the job? The point is, is that you supported me, even though it meant that it might cause trouble between you and your brother. Uh, Jack and I, we're fine. We're solid. So if that's the only thing holding you back, then you should definitely give it a shot. Listen, <clears throat> my dad is not going to stop trying to get back Beauty of Nature. And if I go to work for Genevieve, I am going to be battling him every day. I'll buy a flak jacket. <sighs> it's just, it's going to take a lot out of me. More than I have to give. And I don't want to do that. I mean, if I'm going to be the kind of mom that I want to be to our son. New baby, new job, and your dad. I'm pretty sure that you can juggle that with one hand blindfolded. You know what? You're right. You are right. I can handle anything. I can even handle Chelsea and Anita while you're in L.A. Does this mean you've made a decision about Genevieve's offer? Victoria, I've been waiting to hear from you. I've given your offer a lot of thought. And? I've decided to accept it. <laughs>